Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel. Bag of the crochet, where we talk about everything that is yarn and crochet related. So, if you like that type of thing, please hit that subscribe button. Um, so today I'm going to be going over my top 10 favorite scarf tutorials. Now I do have at the making of video, which is 11-16-2023, almost 1200 crochet tutorials um lots of scarves and whatnot so it was hard to narrow it down to 10 but i did my best now these are in no particular order but i will tell you my number one favorite but the rest are really in no particular order okay so the first one that you see there is this is like a v scarf so um you know you see it starts at the point here and then it, it just v's out wraps around and then comes back down now this is made with a four weight yarn i can't it was a bit long ago so i can only go by the picture i'm thinking that's the lion brand heartland could be wrong on that though now um if you look closely at the points here um in between uh, my chest area and the points at the bottom of the shawl they have fringe and they have beads um, you don't have to put those on and I think actually this would be a great scarf for a man or a woman um, I think every scarf that I show you is going to be work well for a man or a woman to tell you the truth So um, I really like that one a lot. I think that it turned out quite well Don't laugh at me without a hat on. Yes, I do have a hat for this or a tutorial for this hat You can find it on my channel. It's called my chocolate uh, bonbon beanie. All right Although it's not brown, the one I'm wearing, it's black. It's black. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so that particular picture right there. Now this is a corner to corner scarf. And the reason why I like this one so well is because I uh, actually figured out a way to, well, I actually got the corner to corner to work out in the round without having to make a square piece and seam it up the back so that's where it completely in the round i know it looks a bit different than a corner to corner scarf but it is still corner to corner made in the round um you just have to turn each row so i it, it is but this is a bottom up beanie um so you can see that it is sewn at the top together at the top with the pom-pom the call the yarn that i use is a four weight yarn that is a roving style. That is a Lion Brand ice cream um, roving divig divigation. I made that when that first came out. That's a beautiful set. So I love the corner to corner scarf. And I do like the hat that uh, goes with it as well. So yes, I'll put tutorials, the links to all the tutorials for these below in the description box. As always, along with all my other tutorials. Alright, up next. I really like this one. I like this one a lot. This is just a uh, pretty basic scarf. You can make it as wide, um, thick, wide as as you want it, and as long as you want it. Um, this is made strictly with the triangle stitch. I like the triangle stitch a lot. And as you can probably see from the picture, it is made with Red Heart Super Saver Ombre, um, which is a four weight yarn. So a very easy um, scarf. Um, again all of them i think works well for a man woman gender neutral very nice i like that one i like that one okay let's go to the next one why don't we oh it's a new one that's a new one all right so this is my funky town dual pocket scarf now it does have a hood as you can see i like this a lot too now the reason why i picked it out as one of my faves is because i really love that fur but you can definitely that leave that fur off and just use um it's made with fur yarn and then the brown portion of it is made with puzzle shimmer yarn which is a five weight very it's a thinner five weight i think you you can make it any you know i give you the multiple so you can make it any size you want and i believe that is made with the uh suzette stitch lemon peel whatever that's called you know it's got like a thousand names um, but yes, now some, you know, I think that, you know, and if you wanted to add a hood, but you didn't want the hood to be fur, just do it in the same manner as I do the, the fur. Um, 
but just use the stitch that I use for the uh, the main main portion. It's got dual pockets there, you know. They're separated. There's two pockets. I think it's super cool. And take me down to Funky Town. I like that one. And it would look like I said, it would look great without the fur as well. All right, enough of that. Let's move on. Ooh, I like this one a lot. All right. So this is the cat stitch. Yes. If you look closely, it looks like little kitty cats with their paws up like this. So I did make it in um, seven colors of the rainbow there that you see. And it's made with uh, Premier Stitch Please. Now I didn't make this one with a bulky five. That is a wool yarn. You can make it with any weight yarn that you want because I do give you the stitch multiple. You know, or you can use the stitch for something else. It's pretty super cool. Pretty super cool stitch because I like key cats. I have some kitty cats. And um, I love the rainbow colors. It's a nice scarf. I like it a lot. Next up. Next up. All right. So this one is super easy. It's very basic. Um, now, you don't have to put that over your head. You can just wear it, I mean, push it back and wear it as a straight up infinity scarf. You know, just around. It's made in the, in the round. So it's a round infinity scarf. Like I said, you don't have to pull it over your head. I just, I have pictures of it in the video without it being over your head, but um, I was just showing you what it looked like that you can, if it's cold out, pull it over your head, you know, say it's snowing. You go out of the grocery store, you gotta be cold. Even though it is kinda got some holes in it, it's still gonna keep you warm. Cause this is made with a, a bulky a six yarn. I can tell there, and I do believe that is a Karen Chunky Cake that that is made with. Um, I like it. The colors are nice. I think the color might be called Macchiato. Maybe. Just maybe. Just giving some guesses there. I could be wrong, which I probably am. Let's move on. Okay, so this is my number one favorite scarf that I have on my channel. And again, please excuse me without a hat. I don't like to go without hats. <laughs> um, so, this is a infinity scarf. This is a twisted infinity scarf, which means it has the twist in it um, when you make it. Now, this is actually, the reason why I like it is, it's made with a bulky six weight yarn. It's uh, made with wool leaves, thick and quick. And then, um, it has a lot, a lot of texture in it. For a thick weight yarn, I like it's cool to put texture in it. So it's got it's got bobbles, and the bobbles were really big on it. Um, and it has post stitches and stuff like that. And as you can see, I made it wide enough to where when it came up over my shoulders, I could still flip it around and ha make it make a little collar out of it. It flipped around and, and it, you know, kind of made itself its own little collar. But of course, all these patterns are highly adjustable. You do not have to make it as thick as I did. Um, so this being a twisted infinity, um, both sides mock each other. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I'm almost certain it's a twisted infinity. I'm looking at it and I'm like, is it a twisted infinity? I think it is. But if it's not, it's still a regular infinity nonetheless but yes out of all the scarves tutorials tutorials that i've ever done this one right here has always been my favorite i've never topped it never well you know in my eyes everybody sees things differently but to me i never made one better than that it's so pretty keeps you warm too all right Let's go back and check it out. I've got a few more left here. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Okay, you know, you can tell that's made with the lollipop yarn from um, Hobby in Denmark. Um, but you don't have to use that yarn. It's just a four-way yarn. Now, um, that's made with a type of uh, cable cross stitch. Now, you would think that that would be hard. It's not hard. Nothing, nothing on my channel is hard. If you know the basic stitches, such as single, half double, and double. 
I show you the rest. Now those are a lot of post stitches. It's all right, I'll show you how to do them if you don't know how to do them. But you can't tell me that that's not a pretty scarf. I think it's the colors. I love the colors. Now the color name on that yarn is uh, New York. You don't have to use that yarn though. But I will say that that scarf was highly color controlled. Because um, you can see the cake in the background. It's a self-striping cake. Now, and you can see that my scarf has no break in the rows. That's because um, I did highly color control it to where there were no breaks in the middle of my project. I'm a stickler for color control. If I could color control a yarn, most of the time I'll do it. And the lollipop from Hobby are easily color controlled. But it does take a bit more yarn. I could have done that with one cake. But since I color controlled it because I can't stand a brick and a soft driving yarn, it did take me um, a cake and a half. That's okay. I made something off with the, with the rest. All right. That's a pretty scarf. I like that. Um, all right. Let's go to the next one. Okay. This is really nice. This is really nice. <sighs> That's kind of an older video. So I'm sure the quality is not going to be like super great when you watch it. Maybe I'll get time and redo it one day. Now, this particular scarf, I can tell right now, is made with a cobblestone stitch, which is very easy. It's just single and triple crochets. Um, worked on the back side, which makes a little poof out on the, on the um, correct side. So, um, this is the hooded infinity scarf. So, it has the round infinity scarf. You can see it's double wrapped there. Um, so, it is longer if it was to be single wrapped. Um, and the hood is actually detachable, so it's buttoned on the back. So you could take the hood off if you want to and just wear the infinity scarf, or you can attach the hood and wear the hood. You know what I mean? So I like it that it has a detachable hood. I think that's pretty cool. The yarn that I used is uh, it's a t it's a red heart uh, mm, red heart. Uh, it's a five weight red heart. I, it's an old yarn. I don't know if they make it anymore because it's an old video. It could be red heart soft. I'm not certain. But I know it's a five weight, but you could do a four weight as well because it wasn't a thick five weight. Anyone, any four weight you want or any thin bulky five would work. You know, that would look pretty in scarf yarn. Mm. From Lion Brand, you guys should do that. Give it a try, give it a try. Okay, I got one more left. Let me bring it up. Ooh. Ooh. Now, this is probably my second favorite scarf that I have on my channel. Now, it's, it's, it's a pretty basic scarf, but the colors I'm extremely drawn to. Um, it is puff stitches, and it looks like double crochets. Um, now, it's made with the mandala roving, as you can see in the back, which is a self-striping cake. And this scarf as well is very highly color controlled. As you can see, there are no breaks in my color. Um, it is a four weight yarn, roving style. Love roving, it's my favorite. I love the scarf, it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's a pretty scarf. You know, if you look at my channel, I probably have a hat to match that, just not the same yarn. You know what I mean? I probably have a hat to match most of my scarves, just not the same yarn. Anyway, so yes, that one is very beautiful very nice and you can always adjust the thickness um, of your scarf and the length of your scarf to however you want now you've seen my top 10 favorites like I said number one is this one I've never made a scarf to beat this one ever I mean like I said in my eyes I think that it's the prettiest and finniest scarf or regular scarf that I myself have ever made but it is made with a six weight yarn and some people don't like six weights and all the other ones are in my top 10, but if I had to pick a second, it's going to be this one again, the one I just showed you, the uh, mandala, the one with the mandala roving. But of course, you can use any yarn that you want. It's going to look beautiful in any yarn that you choose. So that is my top 10 favorite scarves. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comment section, or if you made any of these. Now look, remember to look in the description box to find links for all these. Also, for like almost 1,200 other crochet tutorials, you know, they're always free for you to enjoy. So hit that subscribe button, that like button, all right, so you don't miss out. And make sure those notifications are turned on. And I'll see you on my next video. Okay. Bye, guys.